the other day a friend of mine asked me to download um, all uh, media files from this web page so you can see the media files over here so there are a uh, couple of media files which uh, uh, I need to download so one way to download all this is like I can uh, right click and click on save link as so and uh, I can save it as an mp3 uh, file so each file I have to download it separately which will be time consuming I have found a way to uh, download uh, all the files from this website so uh, and there are going to be similar other websites um, available so uh, in case if you want to download the media from those websites you can uh, follow the same methodology which I am uh, going to use now so let's begin I'll open uh, Chrome developer tools and uh, I'll uh, click here select an uh, element in the page to inspect it and if I'm going to click over here you can see TD class so if I'm going to expand this you can see the media file over here uh, HTTP uh, colon uh, double uh, colon double slash data dot and so on so you can see it as a mp3 extension so and this is actually a table data td stand for table data so you, that means like uh, all this files all this is stored in as a table so if you scroll little up you can see tr class that means table row so you can see when i click select over here it's selecting the entire row uh, similarly you will have multiple uh, rows also see this is the second row third row fourth row and so on so uh, and uh, if you look a little up there is t body so it's selecting um, the entire body of the table of the, of the first table so similarly you will have multiple t t table body you can see the second lesson is getting selected and uh, here it will be the third lesson and so on if you scroll a little up you can see the table uh, class so this contains all the ta all the uh, table data so you can see uh, if I scroll a little down and if I ho hover over here you can see it's selected so that means this uh, entire uh, table contains all the links uh, mp3 links which we need to download so I'll right click over here and I'll click on copy and I'll uh, select copy element so the entire HTML data is copied HTML data for this table uh, attribute uh, is copied so I need to extract the URLs alone so I am going to use this website uh, gchq.github.io slash cyberchef so I'm going to paste the uh, entire uh, data which we copy the HTML data the table uh, with the table attribute and uh, I'm going to extract the URLs so I'll click on I'll search for URL and there is extract URL so if I drag and drop over here you can see the uh, URLs are extracted here already so I will just copy this and I'll paste it on Excel so you can see uh, all the URLs only the URLs so HTTP HTTPS and HTTPS uh, URLs so let me um, write uh, serial numbers so one two and uh, we can uh, uh, flash fill so there are 200 uh, 222 rows so if you carefully observe you can uh, we need the first row the first row contains the actual mp3 file the, for the first audio and uh, let me highlight in uh, this color and similarly if you see uh, it's the fourth row which contains the second audio file and the seventh row and the tenth row and so on so you can see the, uh, it's after every three 
every third row like first row and uh, the third row after that we need it and the third row after that we need this link so we just need to fetch these links uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a modular function so I'll select this and I'll put modular by 3 that means it uh, uh, 1 divided by 3 has a remainder of uh, uh, 1 divided by 3 has a remainder of 1 uh, if I drag it over here you can see like uh, uh, the ma ones marked in orange are highlighted as 1 so the so we just need to filter out uh, the rows which has 1 over here so I'll create a new row on the top and I'll click on uh, filter function and I'll select 1 So you can see all the audio files which we are which we need to download. So there are totally 74 audio files out there. So we need to download all these audio files, and uh, it's uh, quite easy to download the audio files. So I'll copy this over here. I'll copy this, and I'll paste it in Notepad. So I'm going to use uh, curl uh, to download all these files. So in order, the curl command would be like um, uh, it's going to be like this: curl dot exe hyphen o followed by the URL. So this is the command. So we just need to add this uh, this command in front of each and every line. So I'll use uh, regex to uh, uh, add. Uh, the data uh, I add this uh, in front of each and every line so let me click on control H and uh, I'll uh, put a, a carrot symbol so that means it's beginning of each line we need to type curl exe hyphen o and followed by a space so if I click on replace all you can see all the the first uh, it, it's it got appended at the end at the friend with uh, call dot exe hyphen o so i'm going to delete these two lines so and i'm going to delete the last uh, line also so you can see all the 74 uh, uh, media files so i'll copy this and i'll right click and I'll paste it on. Uh, uh, I will paste it on um, PowerShell, or you can use command prompt also. Make sure you have curl installed, a curl setup on your laptop or your PC. Uh, so uh, this is where I'm going to download all the audio files. So I'll right click over here, and I'll click on Open in Windows Terminal. okay so i'll right click and uh, paste anyway so it's going to paste and uh, it's going to start downloading all the files automatically so you can see it over here it's uh, downloading the first file the first file is downloaded you can see it over here see the files are getting downloaded you can see all our uh, mp3 files so this is how you download the uh, uh or in other terms uh, this is how you scrap scrape uh, media from uh, uh, websites so uh, in um, we allow to wait for few minutes and uh, depending on your internet speed that the files will be downloaded so i hope uh, this was useful so uh, uh, if you have any questions feel free to comment Thanks for watching.